spiritness is found in nature. That was the conclusion that I had today when I went in a walk. It, the sun was shining, it was bright, the animals were doing their thing. The grass, the trees, the wind, the sky, everything was surrounding me and I, I felt one with nature itself, as corny as that may sound. But it's true, the definition of spiritness is the quality of being alive or spirited or alive and vigorous. And that is what life is about, of moving to feel alive, whether it is walking, running, swimming, lifting weights, calisthenics, martial arts, whatever it is, we have to move because nowadays we tend to sit in our chairs, in our rooms or in our desk, playing with our phone or on the computer and we forget to remember that we are more than that. We are not only a mind but we're a body and it's both of them together. So when we go in nature and we can feel the wind and we can feel everything around us, we can be present and we can feel it even more when we're without any distractions, no music, no videos, no nothing, just us and the moment. Okay, bro, so finally I did it. I'm rocking, <laughs> which obviously it's walking with weights. And I decided to, instead of have a backpack or something, I, I'm using my Chris Carrier weighted vest. Hopefully I get sponsored. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but uh, I'm already in the end of my rock. And it feels good. It feels good because walking itself is actually fun I like I like to do it but when you add the weights it's way more challenging honestly and I don't know like I like to challenge myself I like to push to the limit because if you don't then things just get boring and I did actually ironically did get bored with walking I hadn't walked for a long time I hadn't done any cardio for a long time I just focused on the weights and I love doing weights you know recently I went back to a to a gym because I was in a hotel and uh, I love weights weights will always be my favorite but um, you gotta do cardio you can't forget about the cardio and the walking and all that and it's good to just get out and have an adventure in nature which I've been doing recently obviously without the weight but um, I like the idea that, that Elijah put into the, the rocking into the walking with weight which is the idea of just adding challenge to your life and uh, not getting comfortable you know we've talked about this in the group a lot and uh, that's what I'm doing right now and in the future I want to add even more weight because I'll be honest I didn't put all the weights in the vest I put most so it cut off but like I was saying I put most of the weight and in the, eventually I'll put all of the weight but um, yeah I actually found a cliff I'm gonna climb it and then I'm pretty much gonna be done with the whole thing so since this is like the only cliff I see so far I may have to just go up and down from now on until I, until I find a better place uh, but such a good view I feel the thumos the thumos is found in nature that is my theory here So now we're going to go down, if I fall, if I die, well, game over, you know, okay, I'm gonna go do it fast. So ending thoughts, we shouldn't be so adverse 
to pain, to suffering, to the right kind, the kind that makes you grow, that makes you stronger, that makes you better. And all my life in the past, I was afraid and I was always about pleasure and anything that was uncomfortable. I was like, no, I just run from it. And most of us in general, we're like that. We're just like driven by pleasure and repulsed by pain. But there's that good kind that will make your life better in the long term. And doing things like this, you know, like not only walking, but putting on weights. And the more weights and the more challenging that it is, the, the more the stronger that I'm going to become. So I just love the metaphor of working out and the metaphor of, of getting stronger physically because everything else in life is affected the same way. You know, if you want to be a better person, you want to be a better husband, you want to be a better friend, you want to be a better wife, you want to be a better anything, you have to go through pain. You have to go through a, a, a time of doubt and a time of difficulty and when you overcome such obstacles in your life that's when you become somebody new I, I feel like it's something like the phoenix that dies and burns itself and is reborn and you have to every single day be reborn as a better version of yourself every single day so uh, try it out it was a good time and i will continue doing it thank you